Yes. My experience with the Hash Bishop, uh, the legendary, the great uh, Hash Bishop of the faith of the gospel, Hash Bishop Benson Idahosa. Um, it was in uh, December 1997. Yeah, 1997. A lot of people did, don't, did not know that I meant the Archbishop. The reason is because I never talk about it. I hear a lot of people say things, you know, about the Archbishop. But I was among those who were actually privileged by God to meet him or to see him. Or better still, to be, on, to be in the same platform with him. Uh, I don't talk about it at all, but God knows this is the truth. The reason is because he's a very great man of God. And I give him, I give God all the glory for his life and I give great honor to him. The heart bishop is the father of faith uh, when it comes to Pentecostal movement. And so it was in December 1997 uh, the, the Christian festival organized by uh, Tom Line at that Tessoi. They used to do it every December or the year about. Uh, yeah, in 1997, uh, it's organized by Tom Line uh, at that Tessoi. At that time, I was a young evangelist. Yeah, I was preaching everywhere in Benin. I was a young evangelist. And so we had gone to Christian festival. We had gone to Christian festival uh, in 1997. And so a lot of people we were preaching uh, that very day, a lot of guests, a lot of speakers, a lot of speakers. But the Archbishop was the main guest speaker and I was among the speakers. And so they were giving everybody five, five minutes Five, five minutes. Another person who was also uh, speaking that day, he had come from Lagos, uh, would be Tunde Bakari, something like that, yes. But that was far back in 1997. Uh, and so uh, the Archbishop was the guest speaker. I've spoken five minutes. Uh, they've given five minutes where there are a lot of young evangelists, you know, Pastors from different denominations, Anglican Church, Catholic Church, Pentecostal Church, Evangelical Church. I was among, and so I've spoken for five minutes. And so it was time for the main guest speaker to come on stage, which is the Archbishop. It was time for the main speaker to come on stage uh, to preach which is the Archbishop Benson Idahosa. And so he walked, he was highly invited. And then we all stood up to, you know, to honor the grace of God upon his life. And then he walked straight to the stage in 1997. I was a very young uh, evangelist. He walked straight to the stage. And then when he stood on the stage, what struck me is the first word that came out of his mouth. That's what I remember about him. He said these words that I'm about to say. He said, I bring you greetings from the White House. I've never heard any preacher say that. That struck me on my chair. That a man from Benin City could be that powerful that he will flew from the White House to come preach in Benin. Like the way he said it, he was coming straight from the White House in America. He was coming straight from President Bill Clinton, straight to that program. And that gave me an understanding that through the gospel, God can raise great men to become anything, to speak to presidents or speak to leaders of nations. It was from that very place I caught the idea 
that men of God could interact with the presidency. When he said, I bring you greetings from the White House, that struck me on the chair. I was in the podium. I was seated at the, at the altar when I had, as a very young evangelist, when I heard that word, it struck me on the chair because I could not imagine a man from the beginning. He was coming to preach at that program. He was coming straight from the White House in America. He was coming straight from President Bill Clinton. I believe either Tesla or Tom Line, they still have that tip. As a matter of truth, he said, I bring you greetings from President Bill Clinton as well. That was like, I just knew that there is no limit to success. That was when I understood that there is no limit to success. That's my, 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 my experience with the Archbishop. That's, that's the, the little experience. I had with him. I've never heard any preacher say that. I bring you greetings from the White House. Even to this day, I've, I've not heard any preacher said, I'm just coming from the White House now and I'm preaching in this program. It's not, the Archbishop was the only one who was coming out from the White House and was coming to preach in Christian festival in Benin City. That was the experience I had with him. And it is an unforgettable experience. And that was when I also knew that you can uh, bring greetings from where you are coming from. I didn't know you could start a message like that. That you can actually send greetings to the people from your household. That you can bring greetings to people from your family, from your wherever it is that you are coming from. At that moment, until I began to read the scripture, and then I saw Paul sending greetings to people from wherever he was. The Archbishop was unique. He preached a very powerful message that night. But the only thing, every time I remember him, I keep hearing that voice. I bring you greetings from the White House. And I believe he's also in the White House of Heaven at this moment. As we speak, I just want to share my little experience I had with Archbishop Bensini Dahosa. It was an unforgettable night. We had preached earlier before he came, but when he came, the podium changed, the atmosphere changed, everything changed, the altar system changed. And his first statement was, I bring you greetings from the White House. The Lord bless you. And I also want to say to you, I bring you greetings from God. God bless you. God bless you. That's my experience with the Archbishop. Share it. Let it go viral. I just felt it's time I should share it because a lot of people didn't know that I met with the Archbishop. God bless you. Or that we even shared the same podium. A lot of people will be shocked that I'm saying this that I preached in the same podium with the Archbishop. It was in Christian Festival, 1997. God bless you all. I know a lot of people will want to argue and talk, and, but it is the truth. And I believe that Tom Line or Eda Tesla, they will still have the tape. God bless you all. Have a successful day. It's one of my cherishable experience. I didn't share it with anybody. I've never shared it with anyone. But I just decided I should share it with the whole world. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. God bless you.